my favorite kulfi flavors so far. The first one we did was pistachio. This is an OG flavor. I also put almonds in this one, so you kind of get the best of both worlds. This is A tier. After that, we did mango. You don't even have to ask S tier. Then we did chocolate. Flavor wise, it was nice, but texture wise, it was more like fudge. This is C tier. Then we had strawberry. Super simple. It's going to be A tier. Banana really blew my mind. The brown butter caramel flavor was really good. A tier. Then we did coconut. Huge fan of coconut water. I love the way it tasted in this. It was pretty good. I would say B tier. Then we had vanilla. It just reminded me of vanilla ice cream. Nothing too crazy. I would say B tier. Here comes durian. Huge respects to somebody who actually enjoys the sweet mango and onion flavor. This is F tier for me. Matcha was also really good. I'm saying this is A. I'm going to move strawberry back down to B. And the most recent one was Oreo. This was really good. Especially if you treated it like an ice cream sandwich and you just put two Oreo cookies on each side. I would say this is A tier as well. My favorite kulfi flavors so far. We did Ruofsa and it was like rose syrup and milk. So I'm going to put this at B tier. After that, we had coffee. Coffee just reminded me of like an iced coffee. I'm going to put this as D tier. Then we had pineapple. It wasn't really anything too special. I'm going to put this at C. Then we had marshmallow. This was wicked. The taste was really good, but the only downside is that it didn't really have a kofi texture. It was really gooey, but I'm putting that as B. Then we had Kit Kat. I mainly used white chocolate Kit Kat. I'm going to put this at B. After that, we had date coffee, and this one was pretty decent. I'm going to put this at C. And then we had cheesecake. This was interesting because I got to use the back of the cheesecake for the crumbs. I'm going to put this as C as well. And the last flavor was Reese, also known as Reese's. I think it's the only one that came close to mango or on par with mango. So this is S tier. My favorite coffee flavors so far. First up, we had dragon fruit. And forget about those people who say dragon fruit doesn't have any taste. It does. It's kind of like kiwi. It was okay. I would give this a C. Then we had Malai. OG flavor. It's basically cream. And it had a bit of saffron in there too. Definitely S tier. Has to be up there. After that, we had watermelon. Not my favorite. I would prefer my watermelon to be raw. Um, I didn't really enjoy this one too much. This would be D. Then we had Snickers. This was pretty fun because I got to make different layers and it honestly kind of tasted like a Snicker. This is an A tier. After that we had orange. Orange tasted like an orange sickle and it was pretty refreshing. This is a B tier. Lastly we had lemon which was also very refreshing. Um, this is also B tier. My favorite coffee flavors so far. First up was lychee. It was alright but there was too much water content so I'm putting it at C. Then we had cookies and cream. This was really good but it wasn't as good as Oreo so it's B. After that we had lime which was similar to my lemon and orange flavors so that's also going to be. After that was maple walnut. Shout out Canada gang. Great combination. Has to be A. Yeah this is A. After that we had ube. Uh, clarification, this wasn't actually ube. I learned later that this was a uh, Hawaiian sweet potato, Hawaiian purple sweet potato. So shame on you Asian supermarkets for that misleading title, but it was still good. So I'm putting it at A. After that, we had protein, which tasted similar to my protein shake. Nothing too special. That's B. And lastly, we had Super Kid, which is strawberry, blueberry, and banana. I grew up eating this ice cream flavor. It's my favorite. Has to be S tier. My favorite Kofi flavors so far. First up, we had peanut butter and jelly. It was a classic combination, almost like eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and drinking milk at the same time. I would put this as A tier. Next up, we had chai biscoff. Chai and milk go hand in hand, and this also was a great combination. I also like the cookie butter flavor of biscoff, so this is S tier. Next, we had pumpkin spice. This was okay. It had a lot of cinnamon, allspice, nothing too special. I would put this as B tier. Next up was Dalgona. This was basically caramel. It was sweet. It also had some nice texture from the Dalgona cookie, but it was a bit too sweet for me. I'm going to put this as B tier. Next, we had spicy mango. Anything mango related is going to be good in my books. This had tajin, chamoy, a bit of habanero. It had a bit of spice in the center of your throat, which was nice. This is S tier. Lastly, we had horchata, and the drink itself is just addicting. It already has milk ingredients like um, evaporated milk, so turning that into a kofi just makes sense. This was... A tier. My favorite kofi flavor so far. First up we have cookie dough. It wasn't anything too special but it did taste good. I'm gonna put this at B. 
After that we have Kinder Bueno. We had a hazelnut white chocolate filling. This came quite close to that exact flavor. This has to be a. Next up we had Taro Boba. If you freeze tapioca balls, I learned that it's pretty hard to bite into. Because it wasn't pleasant, I'm gonna put this at B. Next we have, oh my god, we did so many flavors. This was honey ginger. That's basically what I use in my ginger tea. I just boil ginger, add raw honey, a squeeze of lime. I should have put a squeeze of lime in here. That would have been even better. I'm gonna put this at B. Next we have eggnog. I really liked how I used fresh vanilla in this. I'm gonna put this at A. Lastly, we have candy cane. Because peppermint itself is already kind of cooling, if you freeze it as a kofi, it just adds this extra layer cooling sensation. It was really good. And this also saved me yesterday in the one chip. I ate like three kofis yesterday. My stomach is still healing. This is A. My favorite kofi flavor so far. First up, we have gingerbread. This wasn't anything too special. It was quite similar to the ginger and honey one. It was okay. I would put this under B. Next we have Ferrero Rocher. I don't like Nutella except in a dessert so this came out pretty well. It also has a nice crunch in the center because we put a wafer. I'm putting this at A tier. Next we have Butter Pecan. Anything to do with brown butter is a win in my books. I'm putting this at A tier as well. Uh, next we have Peach. This was a fail. I did not use ripe peaches and I added too much star anise. I'm putting this at C. Next is Pomoni, and this has a combination of cherry, pistachio, and dark chocolate. This is also A tier. Next we have Chiku, which is a fruit that kind of tastes like a guava and a pear. I'm putting this at C. Lastly we have Drumstick, peanuts, chocolate, caramel, can't go wrong. And instead of vanilla on the inside, we used a traditional Malai flavor. So this is definitely S tier. My favorite Kulfi flavor so far. First up we have Bounty. And for those who don't know, Bounty is a combination of coconut and chocolate. Unlike mint and chocolate, this actually tastes good. It tasted almost exactly like a Bounty bar. This is gonna be S tier. Next we have Almond. And Almond is an OG flavor. I'm surprised I didn't make this sooner. I did make Pistachio, which is another OG flavor. Pistachio is A tier. I'm gonna put Almond at B tier. Then we have Butterscotch. And I guess we added another milk ingredient to this Kulfi. We added brown butter and that tasted really good mm, it was good but it wasn't great i'm gonna put this at b next we have fruit loops and i was super disappointed that fruit loops took away their artificial colors and also the color blue everything just looks so dull and boring the fruit loops got soggy and then i froze it and then it just tasted weird this is c Lastly, we have Golden Oreo, and we did Original Oreo, which is A tier. This is not better than the original, so this is also B tier. My favorite Kulfi flavor so far. First up from this season, we have Cranberry, and Cranberry was nice. It's a bit sweet, it's a bit tart. I'm putting this at B tier. Next, we have Avocado. Now, I was a bit skeptical about Avocado because apparently a lot of Filipinos, they like to treat Avocado as a dessert ingredient, but it actually pairs really well with sweetened condensed milk. This is definitely in A tier. Next we have Neapolitan. It has strawberry, chocolate, vanilla. It's whatever. It's nothing special. I'm putting this at C tier. Next we have Sour Patch Kids. Uh, this was weird. After you froze it, it just got super hard. You couldn't even bite into it. D tier. After that we have Passion Fruit. It has a nice sweetness to it. A bit citrusy as well. I'm putting this at A tier. And lastly, we have apple. Now, I'm not a huge fan of apple. I don't dislike it. I just don't go out of my way to grab an apple and eat it. Surprisingly, it was pretty good. I made a little caramel with it, added some cinnamon. It kind of reminded me of an apple pie. It was good. I'm putting this at B tier. My favorite Kulfi flavor so far. First up, we have chili oil. And surprisingly, the creaminess and sweetness from the vanilla Kulfi paired really well with the somewhat spiciness of the chili oil. It had this really cool oily creaminess texture on your lips. This is A tier. After that, we had Twix. So far, every time I made some sort of chocolate bar remake, it came out really well. Caramel, shortbread, and the chocolate shell all worked well together. This has to be S tier. Next, we had Kinder Surprise, and this was quite nostalgic because I grew up eating Kinder Surprise. I even put a toy in the center of this one. It tasted good, but it wasn't as good as Twix, so I'm putting this at A tier. Next, we have Bon Kulfi. Flavor-wise, it was okay, but it was a bit difficult to eat because of the sugar-coated fennel seeds. It just got really hard. I didn't really like the texture of this one at all. Um, I'm putting this at C tier. Lastly, we have Strawberry Cheesecake. Cheesecake is one of my favorites, so you can't go wrong with that. I also didn't have to cook it, which is nice. This one is also A tier. 
my favorite kulfi flavors so far. First up, we have the kulfi sandwich. This was a collab with Chef Romaine. He did an amazing job at making a macaroon, and that was the actual sandwich part of the kulfi. And it was an almond-based macaroon, and I made a pistachio kulfi. This one is A tier. Next up was another collab as well. This one is with Chili Pepper Cooks, and we did a Thai Chili Pepper Honey. We also did a Chocolate Shell. It was a perfect balance of sweetness and spiciness. This one is also A tier. Next, we had S'mores. This is a classic combo. Graham crackers, chocolate, marshmallows. Nothing too special. It was good, but I'm putting this at B tier. Next, we had frozen yogurt. The tanginess of the yogurt actually came through, which is nice. It's good, but it's not that good. I'm putting this at B tier as well. Lastly, we had olive oil kulfi. I thought this was going to be F tier. Surprisingly, this actually worked very well. The kulfi itself is creamy, plus the olive oil is very smooth and creamy as well. It just had a nice lip feel. <laughs> mm. This one is also B tier. My favorite kulfi flavors so far. First up, we have corn. I think this was during that whole corn meme phase. I also had jot masala in here, which was kind of weird. I didn't think this was that great. I'm going to put this at C tier. Next up is score. And score is just an underrated chocolate bar. It's basically a thin piece of chocolate with caramel on the inside. I'm going to put this at A tier. Then we had black sesame. This is apparently popular in Japan where they have black sesame ice cream and black sesame basically tastes like tahini. It was kind of weird, but it was definitely better than corn. So I'm going to put this at B tier. Then we had coffee crisp. It honestly just tastes like a Tim Hortons ice cap, which I love. And I also put a cappuccino wafer on the inside. Is it S tier? No, it's A tier, but it's really close. It's good. And lastly, we have pomegranate. Now, I had a viewer comment for over a year apparently asking me to make pomegranate and I think the reason why I left this for so long was I didn't really think this was going to be good. I enjoy pomegranates but not in my kofi. It just didn't work that great. I'm going to put this at C tier. My favorite kofi flavor so far. First up, we have mango turmeric. I love mango. It's one of my favorite fruits and I always make a mango turmeric shake during the winter so I knew the combination was going to be good. This is A tier. Next, we have salted chocolate and I use Mr. Beast chocolate bar in this. It's much better than a regular chocolate kofi i made before because the salt just activates all those taste buds i'm gonna put this at b tier then we have mint chocolate you already know where this is going f tier right beside durian no one wants to eat toothpaste after that we had carrot kofi and this was a play on a carrot pudding called gajika halva it was good like i enjoyed it but is it a or b i'm gonna put this at a tier lastly we have eggnog peppermint and to clarify i like mint i also like chocolate what i don't like is the combination of the two which makes things taste like toothpaste last year for the holidays i did eggnog and i think for the year before that i did peppermint so i thought you know what let's combine the two it was good, but it wasn't great. I'm going to put this at B tier. My favorite kofi flavor so far, and we're almost at 100. First up, we have red velvet, and this is basically chocolate. I added some cream cheese into this too, so it has a bit of a tang. It was okay. It didn't really blow my mind. I'm going to put this at C tier. Next up, we have fried kofi. I didn't think it was going to work. I thought the batter was going to fall off, but it actually stuck onto the kofi. I used cornflakes as well, and you can't go wrong with cornflakes. I'm going to put this at A tier. It was good. Next, we have kashmiri chai kofi and i don't know why it took me this long to make kashmiri chai kofi my chai biscoff is s tier and that's one of my favorites so i even added some almonds and pistachios into it this one this is s tier this is up there with my chai biscoff next we have tonghulu kofi and i used a vanilla base for this it wasn't anything too special and i wasn't a huge fan of it getting stuck in your teeth but i did like the crunch i'm gonna put this at b tier and lastly, we have chocolate oatmeal inspired by dad's cookies, not sponsored. This was a great combination. I even added a bit of shredded coconut into this. I'm going to put this at A tier. My favorite kofi flavor so far. First up, we have matcha red bean boba. I love the flavor, but unfortunately, the red bean was almost inedible. It was way too hard to bite into, and I had to wait until it got a bit softer. I'm going to put this at B tier. Next, we have chocolate cheesecake. You can't go wrong with chocolate or cheesecake. I even put some graham crackers on the back. This was solid. I'm going to put this at A tier. After that, buttered popcorn. Now, this was a collab I did with Chef Dev in Pakistan, and I honestly didn't think the flavor was going to work. We could have made it a bit creamier but other than that the flavors actually were good i'm gonna put this at b tier next thai iced tea now i always get this drink whenever i go to a thai restaurant it reminded me of the chai biscoff one which is s tier it's not exactly like masala chai and there's also no biscoff so it's definitely up there but i'm gonna put this at a tier 
Lastly, bubblegum. This one was odd. The more I bit into it, it kind of got a bit better. It was okay. I wasn't even sure if I was supposed to swallow this. I'm going to put this one at C tier. My favorite Kofi flavor so far. And we're almost at 100 flavors. First up, we have Cookie Monster. You can't go wrong with cookies and Kofi. It wasn't anything too special, but it was a good Kofi. So I'm going to put this at B tier. Next up, we have Elmo. And I'm playing on the same Sesame Street vibe. In this one, I use strawberries. And I use some hot honey as well. For the eyeballs, I use white and dark chocolate and Smarties for the nose. I'm a sucker for strawberries and I really like the combo with the hot honey. I'm gonna put this one at 8 here. After that, we had Cotton Candy Kofi, and this was with one of my favorite collabs. I got to do it with Linja. She popped out her cotton candy machine, and we actually made cotton candy. But again, it wasn't anything mind-blowing, but it was honestly a good taste in Kofi, so I'm also going to put this at B tier. And then we had Kanafe Kofi. Now, this was also a collab with Shelby, and Kanafe is a popular dessert in Palestine, so when you mix that with a popular dessert from Pakistan, they actually worked well together. Honestly, Kanafe is one of my favorite desserts too, so I was happy to see that this actually worked. I'm going to put this one at S tier. My favorite Kofi flavor so far. We made 100 flavors. First up we have is Spongebob and we obviously made it with pineapple because that's his house. I used sour gumdrops for the eyeballs and watermelon candy for the mouth. Pineapple and milk aren't the greatest combo for me. Like it's okay. I'm gonna put this at C tier. Then we had Shrek and I used matcha because he's green and purple gumballs for the eyes. I had horrible art skills for the eyebrows and the mouth using green icing. The taste was good because I love matcha. A tier. Next we had Minion. It was a brown butter banana which is nice. And I used a white chocolate circle for the eyeball and a chocolate chip for the mouth. I'm putting this one at A tier as well. And lastly, Carolina Reaper. I just made a regular Kofi with no other ingredients and chopped up one whole Carolina Reaper inside the milk. It was infused in the milk, so each bite was just nasty. The smell, I, I can't stand the smell. It's so bad. I couldn't even finish this. This has to go down with F tier. There's no way in hell this is going higher than F tier. 